it, it's just so terrible what these cops are doing. They're destroying the black community. Honestly, at this point, I would never call the police. It's just not right. Yeah, if everyone just stopped calling the police, they wouldn't have the opportunity to harass black people. What do you think, Ben? Uh, well, I think it's complicated. Obviously, there are issues of racism among individual officers and possibly systemic problems and perverse incentives in police departments. But a police presence is actually what's needed in high crime communities in order to prevent much higher fatality rates. So... Wow, Ben. You clearly don't understand what it's like to be black in America. And you do? Are you alt-right or something? What? What do you think, Ben? Uh... Well, I think it's complicated. Obviously, there are issues of racism with individual officers and possibly systemic problems and perverse incentives in police departments. But an actual police presence is what's needed in high crime communities in order to prevent much higher fatality rates. So we have to hold officers accountable, but it's also important to look at these incidents individually. Either way, vowing to not call the police isn't a realistic way to combat such a multifaceted problem. But you're black. That's right, I am black. Yes, Patrick, he is black. And those are really interesting points. But I just said that. Oh. Dear straight white guys, are you scared that your opinions will be deemed wrong because of your race, gender, or sexual persuasion? Do you want to be honest? But MTV's Decoded says it's problematic. Have you been told to stay in your lane or to stop mansplaining? Stay in your lane! Stop mansplaining! It's 2019, and you're afraid to say what you think but we aren't. Who are you? Political Opinion Surrogates. That's right. Whatever your opinion. We have a member of a protected class who shares your views and is ready to express them for you. That way, it won't be dismissed on account of you being you. Political Opinion Surrogates. They're what you need them most. Are you pro-life in the office? What? So you want to control women's bodies, Ben? No, I don't. Unless you're a man who supports women's right to choose, you're not allowed to have an opinion on abortion. Exactly. So let this POS, pro-life woman, step in and express this controversial opinion that we both share. Wait, you're pro-life. That's right. Woman's woman, let's talk babies, bitch. I don't think this is appropriate in the workplace. Can you no longer rollerblade in peace because you don't think a DJ should be forced to play a gay wedding? What? <laughs> What'd you say, homophobe? I don't remember. Hush, child. Let me handle this. A DJ shouldn't have to spin his sick beats at a gay wedding if he doesn't want to. <laughs> okay, okay, you're gay. Ah, that's right. Come with me, child. Arguing trans rights in the bedroom. Huh? Why are they texting me this in the middle of the night? <laughs> Gimme. Don't worry, go back to sleep. We got this. Thank you, political opinion surrogates. We'll even speak for you in your straight white dreams. Great. Good night. Dude, the glitter is so unnecessary. Political opinion surrogates. We are marginalized individuals ready to express your marginalized opinions for you. Call me. Warning, political opinion surrogates may not be effective when accused of internalized misogyny, oppression, Uncle Thomism, hysterical shrieks of terror, and most conservative right of center, center, and left of center opinions. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel. Make sure to click the little bell to turn on notifications so you never miss a video. You can also follow us on Instagram and Twitter. And if you want to support us, check out our website, wetheinternet.tv.